Cloudflare right. is changing the rules of the internet. <laughs> Cloudflare has announced that it is now blocking AI crawlers by default and is introducing a new pay-per-crawl yeah. model in which AI services can pay content creators to allow their content to be crawled. Cloudflare infrastructure and services are utilized by almost a quarter of the internet, and bots and crawling traffic can significantly increase the costs of running websites, and recent studies have found that more than 50% of internet traffic is AI bot-driven in 2025. With projections anticipating a rise to 90% by the end of the decade. Yeah, the, the internet's fake. What? Yeah. Half? I've known this for a while. Yeah. I did not know that. I did not know it was that high. Yeah. Dead internet theory stuff is like pretty real. Like half spend, of internet you, traffic? Well, yeah, because I'm not even talking about internet traffic. I'm talking about internet interaction right now. Internet traffic, that's not surprising to me literally at all. The internet interaction, though, if you spend some time on like the the dumb one letter website um and you actually like actually dive into replies and oh, actually dude. read stuff it's painful so much of it is fake it's painful crazy even youtube comments these days incredible amount of like back in the day it would be like oh, the like, ben in his tank or whatever that weird thing was yeah uh, there's a lot of spam yeah click my pussy stuff like that yeah lots yeah. of that but these days there's a ton of bob yeah bob's tank army bob's tank army yeah. that was it uh there's a ton of fake ones now it's weird it's odd watching them get in loops of talking to each other is entertaining too it's like oh this like random tweet or whatever has like a billion comments and we don't know why and then you see that there's one comment with a reply to it and they just keep replying to each other for like ever it's like oh, okay Cloudflare says that site publishers will have full control over the AI blocking and the paper crawl settings, while AI services will be able to choose if they want to pay the crawling prices set by the publishers. The feature is currently in private beta, and Cloudflare customers can apply for early access. Our discussion question then is, how do you think LMG will utilize these new features? And go. We signed up for the beta. We're not in it yet, but we signed up for the beta just to kind of see what's going on. It's interesting. I think there are downsides to things like this. It's not like search companies aren't going to be aware of who's turning this on. Um, and it's not like search companies wouldn't be able to hurt your searchability. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I Not only do I think it's possible, I think it's so likely that it's close to guaranteed that that would happen. That's my vibe check right now. I don't technically know, but I really think that would be a thing. It would be very, very easy for them to do in regards to impacting page rank. However, I mean, they can't, they can't derank everyone. And Cloudflare is enabling it by default. Yeah, I, I think there's also like, oh man, I think there's a lot of interesting bits. Like if you block crawlers on your website mm -hmm. because you're like, you know, the the th three one millionth of a cent that I'm going to get per crawler interaction is not worth the money. I'd rather people just actually come to my website. If you do that. It also opens up a really weird gambit where people could prop up a website that just copies your stuff and then they allow crawlers to come for a fee, whatever else. There's a lot of like, this is, I think this is a good route mm -hmm. to be very clear, but this is going to start a very weird internet. Conrad, stop. Uh, this is going <laughs> to, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, this is going to start some really weird. <laughs> <laughs> some really weird interactions on the internet um, of how things work. Now, to be clear, I do not think this like AI summary, no one ever has to click on a website again, garbage is a good idea. Yeah, it's not sustainable. So we need something. Yeah. If this works, awesome. But this could have unintended consequences, yeah. I guess is what Practically you're saying. Practically everything has unintended I mean, anything consequences. Anything can be gamed. Yes. And this will attempt it to be... This will, people will attempt to game this. And uh, I don't know, what's interesting to me, I guess, is that this might just be too little too late. Um, most of the clean training data is already out there. Like I've yeah. heard that companies are uh, basically like guarding their uncontaminated by, you know, just AI contributions, uh, actual human generated training data, uh, which, man, could have 
really fascinating implications for like the evolution of communication because the way that we communicate with each other our our slang and our grammar it changes and evolves over time but if we've got these time capsules that we use to train ais and people are effectively using ais to process information and send it to each other i do wonder if there's going to be like a stagnation there you know how right um, now there's a fairly dramatic difference between written word and spoken word i don't know is there I think so. Oh, okay, sure. That, that, sure, I'll, I'll buy like, it. Like, you and I are not very good use cases for this, because I think we often just write how we talk. Um, but for a lot of people, there is an actually pretty substantial gap between how they write and how they talk. I'm bringing up a text chat. Okay, who's someone I talk to? Uh, nope, too X-rated. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Twitter. Um... Okay, okay, okay. So here's a um, here's a yeah. No, I think I basically just write how I talk. So this is to one of the writers off hours. I said one the attempt. Writer's not a good example. I said one attempt. Well, no, but we were just chatting on in text. I know, but it's a, you're giving an example of another person who is through their work highly incentivized to write how they talk. I mean. Got it. Yeah, they don't care. Um, <laughs> so I said, one attempt adds a ton of scope at a time when we are objectively very busy. Send it away to expert and test can be done in an afternoon. Uh, f around with the Tormach is a day shoot. We can hash this out during work hours, though. Hope your evening is good. Sorry for the slow reply. V busy today. So I guess I, I, I'm a little bit more point form in text, but I, I don't, yeah, pretty similar. Like, what do you mean? Like, how different are you thinking things are? It's for, for a substantial amount of people, it's like very different. Hmm. Like they'll, use, you know, they'll sometimes use different language. Um, someone's saying professional communication. Yeah, but this happens in non-professional settings as well. It, this is like a thing. Um, man, who do I talk to non-professionally? I don't have a social life, man. I got nothing. Okay, what are you, what are you looking at? Trying to not use the AI summary. At any rate, the, the non-contaminated the non stuff um, is basically, it, 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 where I was going with that is the non-contaminated source data for training is pretty much um, maximized now. You, you kind of can't get uncontaminated new data. So I do wonder how much this is even going to slow down the actual training of ai models uh probably probably not at all but this could maybe slow down their intake of new information but even then like because yeah, there's extremely valuable companies currently popping up and their entire argument is that they have clean training data instead of junk training data um, and that's off of data that's already out there a, a massive percentage of the internet has been farmed yeah I mean, it hasn't just all of it. That's a tough thing to say, but likely. Probably. Uh, but the the one kind of saving grace is if we're going to look at sites like HouseFresh, yeah. um, new products are going to come out. Sure. So like you would still need to crawl a site like HouseFresh if you want to have up-to-date product recommendations. So for those of you who haven't watched every WAN show ever, House Fresh is an air purifier or LCT YouTube video. Um, specialist reviewer. Um, and we collaborated with them recently on some of the challenges that they've faced around uh, being pressured by air purifier manufacturers to change their reviews and also um, it's pressure that they're under financially from the decoupling of um, impressions and clicks that has taken place over the last little while where people are um, getting the they're getting an impression for house clip fresh but they're not clicking through to see an air purifier review because there's like an AI summary and they just don't have to so yeah they wouldn't be able to get information on new pages but I just wonder if they'll care I mean the AIs are and so it also starts anyway. an arms race yeah, um, we're, we're just kicking off another crawlers versus anti-crawler technology 
I mean, if anyone's going to keep out ahead of it, at Cloudflare, I mean, if they can handle DDoS on a massive scale the way that they do, that's a pretty they're, they're that's a pretty the, dedicated bunch. They're the right team to be in front of it. We're not sponsored by Cloudflare. Just I, I think we, have we ever done anything with them? Don't think so. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe yet. Yeah. We'd be open to. I'd be open to it. Yeah. I'm sure. open to it. We've been working with them. Yeah, in some capacity or another, an incredibly for incredibly long time. Quite a long time. 